So what's a vasovagal episode? It's a fainting spell. It's the most common fainting spell. So I'm sitting here talking to you because I have enough of a blood pressure for my blood to circulate through my brain so I don't black out, okay? If what happens in a vasovagal episode is you're getting this weird stimulus through your brain that makes your heart rate drop. And it might just be listening to something that you deem gross and you have that certain kind of tendency. So your heart rate goes from 70, which it is now, to 45, all within 10 seconds. You start seeing dots, you yawn, and you might fall over. And you intervene, someone intervenes for you, by laying down flat. Because what just happened? Your heart rate plummeted as part of a response. It's called vagal because there's a nerve called the vagus nerve, which is like the break for the heart. And for some reason, the stimulus in your brain stimulates the vagal nerve and makes your heart rate slow down. So here you are lying down. What does your body do? It stimulates uh, the other nervous system, the gas of your body, which we call the sympathetic nervous system, and that's telling you, hey, we got a guy here that's laying down and his heart rate's too low, this is bullshit, let's speed him up, let's stimulate him, the kind of thing that happens when you see a policeman in your rear view mirror, you're getting that now internally as a response to a low heart rate, and you're starting to sweat because sweat is a sympathetic response. Um, and that's what's going on in the person when they recover from a faint. So the person that turns pale that's with you that says, can you get me a glass of water? What you really need to do is lean them down, lean them down, reassure them, and then the glass of water helps them feel better. So that's the answer for a general vasovagal episode. Remember, I'm not giving medical advice to any individuals. Thanks, and I hope this was useful. Bye.